Hello everybody and thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on a common, common problem I've had with this printer here. It's the XYZ DaVinci Pro and um, this is the, the second time it's come up. I think it's because uh, the first time I didn't put a substantial enough SD card in it. But I had a problem where it basically kept printing the exact same print over and over again. No matter what I loaded onto it, it kept pr printing the same print. So I uh, took it apart, found the SD card, replaced it, put too small of one in there. Now I'm trying to print something big and it won't let me print. So I gotta go back in there, replace the, the SD card with a bigger one. And just wanted to show you how quick that can be done, but it's also a little bit of a pain the way they mounted the SD card in there. Um, first thing, I've got it all cleaned out. So we gotta get the back plate off of this thing. So there's two little screws here. We got one here, one there. They're uh, T10 Torx. I don't know if I can get the focus on that, but T10 Torx. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this back plate removed. All right, so here's the main control board. And just to point out, before I started, when I, well, as soon as I had to move this thing around, I unplugged it, made sure the power's, you know, not connected here. And on the motherboard itself, there is the SD card. And it's this little spring clip that really doesn't stay on there very well. And it, it's really difficult to get back on. Um, and uh, yeah, so don't drop this thing. I guess there's a lot of reasons not to drop your 3D printer, but that's one. And another thing is down there in that cubby is where that little clip is gonna land and the SD card. Um, my past experience is that that happens a couple of times and I'm about to have to probably deal with that a couple of times. So I'm gonna spare you that video and go ahead and get that SD card out of there. I think it's a 64 megabyte and I pulled a four gigabyte out. So yeah, uh, probably definitely need to do that. There's one. Oh, that time it didn't go that deep. It's easier to recover. Oop, maybe not. <gasps> I got it. Yay. All right, put that back panel back on. I'm that brave. It's not even potentially the right format. The card I had in there was fat format and this one is fat 32. Um, I guess I'll leave the back cover off until I verify it works. Um, it's, an, it's a spacer for the indexing head on my CNC mill that I'm, I'm building. And so basically, it's pretty tall. It's about three, and a, it's three and a quarter inches tall and 3.4 inches uh, wide and deep there. So I gotta get that to print. It was more than 512 megabytes apparently because, well, there was 400 or so left on that memory card. Um, everything seems to be loading up correctly with the memory card so i'm gonna go ahead and see if she prints it's gotten further than it made it last time before it uh said there was a problem hopefully it makes it everything seems to have made it across and everything's warming up now i just gotta see if what it starts laying down actually looks like the print i told it to print or if it looks like the uh, last thing i printed all right, so it's about go time here. Everything's heated up. Let's see uh, if it tries to, it's not gonna actually successfully print here. I haven't prepped the battery level or anything, but I need to know if it makes a circle or a square. If it's a circle, it's trying to reprint the last thing I sent to it. If it's a square, 
it's trying to print what I just sent to it. So, yeah, that's a circle, but that's just the bolt hole. That is definitely my new print. So, everything was a success. I'm gonna cancel this before I make too big of a mess. All right. So, none of it actually stuck to the bed because I don't have any masking tape or anything on there. Um, but it's ready to print, so memory card replacement was a success. Um, hope that helps, and thanks for watching. If you uh, liked what you saw, please subscribe. Give me the thumbs up, leave a comment. Have a great day.